Hi there, and thank you for joining me on The Digital Reel. This time, we're going to do a little 177 pellet ballistics test, checking for both kinetic power and penetration. Why? Well, with ammo expense these days and sometimes scarcity, I wanted to have something that I could practice with in the backyard and at the same time have enough power and punch that in, say, a bad day scenario, I could take small game and still save my ammo. And in between there, has some fun. Well, after looking around, Dave Cantonberry and a few other people suggested the Crossman Phantom. That's right, this delivers anywhere between 1,000 and 1,200 feet per second. But, depends on the ammo. And that leads to today's test which ammo to get. There's so much on the market and there are so many claims. I went ahead at first to go ahead and I bought seven and we're going to check them out and see how they do. They are Crossman Wad Cutter, Crossman Pointed, Crossman Destroyer, Gamo PBA Gold Pointed, promising 25% more velocity, Crossman Premier Hollow Point, Beeman Coated hollow point. Gamo Extreme piercing power, promising 20% more piercing power. The way we're going to do this test is first, we're going to put it through some ballistics gel that is specifically designed for air rifles, so therefore getting a true check on the penetrating power. And we're going to go old school and do half inch piece of plywood for both penetrating power and kinetic punch. Then we're going to wrap things up for fun and kinetic punch, penetration as well, and do what everybody that loves to shoot things and blow shit up does, kill some melons. To add to the fun, as well as simulate the distance you'd be from a critter or vermin, we're going to go ahead and do this from 50 feet away. Look, Coroplast, wad cutter. You'll notice on this first one with the wad cutter, I went a little high but it went about halfway deep. Pointed. So here we are with the Crossman pointed. Went much deeper, almost through the block, say a little bit past three quarter mark. Destroyer. Now you'll see the Destroyer fell just short of the wad cutter. Nice and centered, but fell much shorter. Gamo, PBA, gold pointed. So here we have the Gamo PBA Gold Pointed, it's supposed to be 20% more velocity. However, in piercing power, we'll notice that it actually falls short about an inch and a half of the cheap Crossman Pointed, which has so far gone the deepest. Premier Hollow Point. Here we are with the Crossman Premier, which actually made it almost just a little bit, or a term I won't use, before the gold pointed. Beeman Coated Hollow Point. The Beeman Coated Hollow Point, the only contestant coming in from China hitting dead center of the block. Gamo Extreme Piercing Power. Last, but almost least, we have the Gamo Armor Piercing. Only hitting short of the B-Man landing that sucker dead in the center of the block. And that concludes the Gel Ballistics Test.